Yo, what's going on people today? I was just gonna show you how to do something real simple. I was gonna show you how to connect your laptop or even your desktop PC to your LCD or a plasma flat screen TV. You can use it as a larger monitor. Now I know it's something real simple and a lot of people know how to do it, but um, you know, I've, I've known that some people, you know, they may not know how to do it. So I figured I'd just uh, put this little tutorial up to just show you how to connect it. If you had if you had plans on upgrading to like maybe a, a bigger monitor or something, you can save a lot of money by using what you probably have in your living room or maybe even your bedroom, you know, already. This is, this is a 15 inch uh, monitor on my laptop. You know, it's it's good for everything. But sometimes when I'm watching movies or something online or you know any kind of videos, even on YouTube, I would want it to be on a bigger TV because you know some people actually use real good cameras and uh, it shows up really clear on here you know if you're taking like a class and you know you have to read things you don't have like a manual for you have to read it off of a website or something it'll be easier just do it like this alright well the first thing you're gonna need of course is a VGA cable now you can uh, what these are are pretty much pretty much just regular monitor cables like the cable that you screw into the back of your desktop PC to connect the monitor to the uh, computer that's all these are now don't get overcharged for these I suggest you get them offline or you know find some site that sells them online I got this one off eBay this is a 15 foot cable I mean uh, like I went to Walmart and they had like a 10 foot cable for like twenty dollars this was a 15 foot cable and I think I paid about ten dollars for it I don't know it may be um it wasn't it wasn't more than 15 it was somewhere in between like 10 and 15 dollars for a 15 foot cable I also went to Best Buy they had a 10 foot cable for like 25 dollars so you know if you do decide to use this as a monitor don't get overcharged for this VGA cable you need to go ahead and get you one of these it's called a VGA cable it looks I don't know how this is gonna show up on the video but it looks just like this and if you if you know what a VGA port looks like on the back of your computer just get you a cable that fits into there. That's all you need. You need one that's like this on this and like this. Uh, two male connectors on the end. Okay. Just uh, grab you one of these. And now let me show you the ports that you need to squeeze it into or screw it into. Whatever. Okay. Now once you get the cable, all you have to do is locate the VGA port on the back of your laptop. And mine is right here. Well, actually, it's right here on this laptop. On my on the one that I'm actually using in the video is it's right on the back right here let me see if I got the camera point to there there it is now I'm just gonna use this Dell laptop for demonstration purposes since it's sitting in the sunlight now what you're gonna do is just grab the get the uh, VGA cable and that looks a little bit better but like I said uh, get the VGA cable they're also called SVGA cables too so if you go into a store or you see online where it says SVGA cable, that's pretty much the same thing as this. So uh, just get this, you stick it into the back of here. And uh, this is pretty, I mean, you should understand how to do this if you've hooked up a monitor onto a normal desktop PC. And like I said, this will also work for using your uh, flat screen as a desktop PC monitor too. But uh, you stick it into the, into the little porch, you screw it in, it tightens down with screws and you're pretty much going to do the same thing on the back of the TV. I'm, I'm not sure exactly where they are on all the TVs, but mine is uh, somewhat conveniently located right here. It's a little bit close to the back of the TV, but there's the VGA port on the TV. All I have to do is get the other end of the cable, stick it into that VGA port, and screw it in. Okay, now what we since we have that hooked up, now what we have to do is go ahead and... Then, uh, well first, you don't necessarily have to go in this order, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the TV in, uh, in the mode to where it picks up the signal from the, uh, you know, the VGA input. Now I don't know if it's going to be the same mode on all TVs. Alright, we got the TV, we got the AV mode, the comp mode, I thought that's still a computer. But um, the mode that this TV has to be in is RGB mode. I didn't do any kind of research to find out. Uh, what RGB stands for but if you're if you have a Vizio then it needs to be put in RBG mode in order to be used as a monitor at first I thought it would maybe this mode the COMP because I thought that stood for computer and it may but that may be something else that I don't know uh, yeah I really don't know what that is but um 
before you send the signal over to the uh, TV, go ahead and put it in the RGB mode. And now it's gonna when you put it in the RGB mode, it's gonna say no R RGB signal. The power will be turned off. Will be turned off. And uh, the reason it's saying that is because once you hook it up to your computer, you don't actually have to turn the turn the TV on. You know, with the remote anymore, it'll automatically turn on once you boot up your computer or once you send the signal to it and it's in RGB mode. But as you see, it just turned off. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to send the signal over there to the TV and it's gonna magically turn back on. That's with this. First, of course, we're gonna go to your start menu. Go over to, you already know what control panel is. Everybody should know what control panel is. Even if you don't know what control panel is, just go into your start menu, go to control panel and it's gonna say pick a category I'm using Windows XP but you're gonna go to the one that says appearance and themes it's the same place you go to when you're setting up uh, like when you're changing your background or when you're changing your screensaver then you're gonna scroll down to the one that says display it's right down there it says display it's not showing up too well with the camera but you should know where it is it says display then you go here you go up here to settings. It's the last one in Windows XP. It's going to be the last one's themes, desktop, screensaver, appearance, and settings. So you click settings. Now, here it may get a little a little tiny bit confusing. Just a tiny bit. Not confusing, but you gotta really you gotta know which one to pick. Alright, now back to where we were right here on display properties and in settings. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to click this little box right here and you see the drop down menu there are two monitors the first monitor on this particular computer I don't know how it's gonna be on all computers but it should be real similar since they're isn't using Windows but uh, it's gonna be two monitors the first one of mine says plug and play monitor the second one is uh, monitor number two it says plug and play monitor also now this first monitor that's the one for the um, laptop of course that's the laptop screen that we're looking at right now select the second one so we're gonna select monitor number two select that now right down here it says it has a choice you it says use this device as my primary monitor and then it also is another box that says extend my windows desktop onto this monitor so what i want to do is extend my windows desktop onto this monitor for you know what i use it for now what that means is that using the device as my primary monitor that's going to be like you got this is the only monitor you have you have like one big monitor it's going to look just like your desktop exactly what's on this going on on this screen is what's gonna be going on on the big screen right here but that's not what I want to do because that's not gonna really help me out in you know what I use it for so what I want to do is extend my Windows desk desktop onto this monitor now what that is is that it's gonna be like one big monitor between this monitor and that one where like let's say I got this uh, this window right here I can get the mouse and I can drag this onto this screen to make it real big now if I if I set it as my primary monitor I couldn't do that because that's gonna be like the only monitor I have it's just gonna be that monitor and it's gonna be this one too but it's they're gonna be the exact same thing and that's not what I want I'm gonna have to go right here and click extend my Windows desktop onto this monitor go right here click apply and look at that no hands it just turns on by itself and as you're gonna see that is the background of my uh, of my computer even though it has like two separate pictures it's like one big monitor like let's say I wanna get this display property screen I can just take it slide it right across there and look it just appears right on the monitor the same thing for your icons in some cases you may have to change the pixels on your screen like right now you may have to change it to 800 by 600 pixels in the um when you're in display properties you may want to go to screen resolution and ch lower it because it's probably going to be at it's probably going to be at like 1280 by 768 you know normally and if you extend your monitor over there with that setting it's going to come up like this like you can see a picture and you'll see like some of the tv the pic the backgrounds on some of the tv and some of it's not what that is is you have the wrong resolution setting so what we're gonna do here, if you see that happen, the screen resolution, 
take this bar all the way down the lowest it's gonna go is 800 by 600 pixels and it's gonna be fixed for you as you see I'm gonna click apply right now and apply boom there it is you see how I got my channel right here I can just slide that over there and view it on the big screen and you see how much better that looks than looking at it on the uh, on a computer screen but uh, that's it and I uh, have fun with your new monitor